Three Piece, first song by Christiana Colon. Colon. We don't even want the fame, money, whatever. It's not what we on. Whole thing gotta come down. Like, equality ain't just sitting at the front of a bus. Just like equality ain't a white boy brains blown out on the ground next to Big Mike big brains blown out on the ground. Equality ain't a little, ain't a little white boy belly pump full of bullets on a swing set like Tamir Rice belly ripped open on a fucking playground. But that would be something, wouldn't it? Eye for an eye, belly for belly, white baby for black baby. That would be something, but ain't what we about. That what they afraid we about. We about how can we live without blood money? They call us thugs, criminals, terrorists, whatever, but they want to tax me to live on land they stole? I mean, they stole me and want to tax me to live on land they also stole. <laughs> Y'all see nothing fucked up about that equation? I, I mean, no, no, who, who fucking violent? Who fucking genetically criminal? I am not genetically criminal. <laughs> no, 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 but to keep it really real, I initially just came out for the looting. Yeah. <laughs> looting what brought me out. Ah, oh, look, come up, whatever. Folks busting in glass and racking faster than Ferguson PD can radio Delwood, can radio Florissant, can radio Clayton and Berkeley. Snatch up rhinestone jeans, kicks, man, cartons of Marlboro, cheese, pampers. <laughs> See, whole thing gotta come down. Talk about looting. We was taught stealing this way to prosper. You steal people, you prosper. You steal land, you prosper. You steal flesh, dreams, pussy, you steal time. And you fucking prosper in this motherfucker, man. But I steal a PlayStation and I gotta do a bid, man? Get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> you wanted me on these streets, man. You wanted me here. You wanted me here. You wanted a little thrill at your edges. Me all dark and taking up space. Me all fucking and fatalism. If Target practice like jagging off, I'm a fucking porn star. <laughs> yeah, you get off the thoughts of me while you aim at a paper villain across the range. And that's why I say the whole thing got to come down. That's why I, I first came out for the looting, but the second night I came out for the looting and I ain't want to take nothing. I just stood out there in the smoke talking to my brothers, man, chopping it up. With my brothers, I, I, I thought I lost. Brothers I ain't know I had. And I, I stood out there and I saw these brothers I ain't want to see dead. And we, we start guarding the stores. Yeah, we start guarding the stores. We were looting, make sure ain't no one else come through the glass. And I saw these bodies on the street, man. All these bodies on the street, man. It's all these bodies on the street on West Florissant. All these young black bodies, August hot. Sun lay on them all day, muscles humming with sweat come nightfall. And for the first time in a long time, I saw them bodies and I didn't want them to die. I mean, I gave a fuck. I saw my brothers. I saw my brothers and I knew if we want to live, we got to be the police. We're not going to be policed by motherfuckers who want us bleeding. They got armor? Yeah, we got armor. We got to be armor. They got batons and rifles? Man, our love got to be a baton. Our tongue got to be our rifle. We got to love ourselves so hard we police our motherfucking self. Whole thing got to come down. Three Piece Meets Shay by Christiana Colon. Three Piece steps into the beauty supply store through the human shaped hole in the glass storefront. He cradles a broken cash register wrapped in a towel like a swaddled infant. Shay sweeps broken glass, headphone and ears, blasting something ratchet. She dances with the broom. Three Piece sets the register on the glass display case, also spidered from impact. Packs of weave clutter the floor. Three Piece plops the register on the counter causing the splintered glass to shatter and the register to collapse into the display case. Shay, startled, fluidly grabs a bat from behind the counter and swings it at three-piece. He ducks the blow. Fuck out of 
in here for our college. Oh, clean this yeah, shit all goddamn the day. The ain't got you. Yeah, call my whole set to ride on your monkey ass, though. Call man, bitch. Fuck you screaming at Fuck you coming in here breaking more shit while I'm trying to clean up this shit. Y'all goddamn thieving asses. I ain't break shit. Up. I came to give you back your funky ass cash register. Kind of already broke. It wasn't broke like that. Well, a lot of shit more broke than we thought now, ain't it? Is there anything in it? In what? Any money in the register. Nah. Shay goes to lift the register out of the display case, but she's short and it's deep. She struggles. Three Piece goes to help. She tries to box him out. He reaches in again and she bodies him away. He advances once more. Quit trying to push up on my booty, though. Bitch, ain't nobody thinking about your ass. Funny how I'm after you and your crackhead you. friends want to destroy my motherfucking place of employment, now all the goddamn sudden think you suck on karma's titties a little bit. I didn't have shit to do with your place getting cat. And then you forget that you ain't shit, nigga. Talk about I'm sorry after the fact. And your big melon ass head. Man, keep on threatening me. See if I don't call the cops. Call him, bitch. And call me a you bitch. You think I give a fuck one about more the time? See if I don't get the whole goddamn national guard in here. Three Piece finally fishes the register out of the display case and shoves it into Shay's arms. She sets it on the floor and begins trying to open it, but the damage has made it jam shut. I was on night patrol last night. Shay is unimpressed. <laughs> I mean, I stood out here making sure nobody else came in. I mean, about six other brothers. Oh, you must want a purple heart. She continues to struggle with the register. You say you're going to call the cops on me, and I come to... Say that I'm the new cops, baby. Girl. <laughs> and if you want, I can send. Some, if you want, I can send some folks in here to help you clean up. Yeah, Miss Miranda will think it's a great idea for me to let the motherfuckers who destroyed his livelihood in here to clean him out. Talking about they helping me clean up. I was born at night, not last night, nigga. I'm lucky he ain't fired my ass already. He fired all the other girls, but he know I got the most babies, so I guess he was nice enough not to fire me. Shay finally cracks open the register. She lifts the cash tray and then a small metal sheet beneath the cash tray where she finds an envelope full of big bills. Niggas make the dumbest criminals. At least when white people still, they do it right. Shay counts out a few bills for herself, rolls them up, shoves them in her bra. She dials Mr. Miranda on her, tel on her cell phone. Hi, yeah, no. No, 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 no. No, everything is Mr. Miranda. Miss I already redid the inventory in the back. I'm just trying to... By Friday, tomorrow? What time tomorrow? I'd have to stay here all night to finish that by myself. Yes, yes I do, I know you do. Thank you, Miss Miranda. Huh? Oh, yeah, I was calling to tell you the cops brought the register back. Yeah, it's broke, but it looked like it'd be cheaper to fix it when we get the whole new one, and cheaper to fix it than to get a whole new one, so. Yeah, there is, all the register cash was gone, but it was still some money under the tray. I ain't counted yet. You never gave me the combination to the safe. She hangs up. Uh, the owner on the way to get this money, so you might want to get up on out of here, because I may not call the cops on you, but he most definitely will if he don't shoot you on sight. Now, why you let that man disrespect you like that? Like what? Like you stupid and untrustworthy. He trusts you when it comes time to sweep up glass, but don't trust you enough to hold on to some money he counted as a loss already? Things are kind of dangerous right now. Why you ain't been out there? Excuse me, didn't you hear me say you need to go? Take a walk with me. Maybe you need the police to come whoop your ass, knock some sense into that ugly head with a nightstick. You want to see that? My head cracked open on the concrete? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I just want you to leave so I don't lose this job. Because I almost have enough saved for a security deposit on my own apartment. And I'm sick and goddamn tired of my mama always telling me my room smell like weed and having to do the dishes for all my grown-ass brothers and sisters. Right, well, we marching from Canfield to the PD at 7. Come through when you get off. Nigga. You know you don't be doing no damn marching. We marching at seven. Who is we? The people. I ain't the people. Every night at seven. Every night? Till they lock that man up. Ugh, then you gonna march off the edge of the earth. They not gonna lock up no cop. Then I'll march off the edge of the earth, but you gonna march with me. Maybe not tonight, but eventually you gonna have to. Mr. Miranda just as quick to put a bullet in you and starve your babies. You only as good as the next chicken head who want a weekly discount on her weave. Help that man build his fortune in America and he wouldn't pee on your jellyfish thing. Three piece pulls out a gun and aims it at Shay. And if I came in here to rob you, rape you, rape you, rob you, and set you on fire, how hard do you think the cops would work to identify your remains, huh? You think they'd send a motherfucking forensic team to dust for my fingerprints if it wasn't no goddamn broken glass? 
You just be another dead trick with no name. He puts away the gun. Uh, eventually, you won't have to pick a side. Let me know if you want me to send a team in there to help you clean up after we march. <laughs>